Let's assume it's someone else. Let's assume. Brothers and sisters, do not think of anyone on earth to be perfect after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. No one is perfect. We all have our shortcomings. It depends on a number of factors, whether these shortcomings are huge and serious or not. Among these factors, your knowledge. So the sins and shortcomings of a knowledgeable person is different than a layman. The sins of a person who is within a Muslim community with practicing uh, and righteous Muslims is different from the sins of per, a, a loner, a person who is within an environment that is un-Islamic. The person's shortcomings and sins living in a Muslim country is different than someone who is living in a non-Muslim country. So always have this in you. The moment you achieve to know that this is a sin that I'm committing. And as Sheikh Muhammad Salah said, the moment you acknowledge there is a Lord that forgives your sins, the moment your heart is submissive, it's broken, then Allah's forgiveness is right next door. But our problem is not with that. The brother who is asking this question has half of the remedy, half of the medicine ready. He has to take the other half. Our problem is that we are in defiant. We come to conventions like this. We go to lectures. We listen to Quran, to Sunnah. We know what's right and what's wrong. But when it comes to me, no. It's haram for all of you. For me, it's halal. Or at least I have a legitimate excuse. I convince myself. And that is why so many of us sinners, when being confronted, we would say, um, it's, it's not a sin. Or, yes, but I have a justification. Or, a lot of them are in, def in, in denial. So, the brother, by confessing, by acknowledging the illness, I am pretty sure, inshallah, he's on the right track. Both on the track of Allah's forgiving him and on Allah's guiding him. So all what you have to do now is to behave like the killer of a hundred thousand. You know the person who killed 99 went to a priest and he said, uh, I'd like to ask for repentance and forgiveness. And he said, killing 99? No way. So he finished the hundred. He killed him. Three digits are always better than two. So he went to a scholar and asked him, and he said, who prevents you from repenting? But you are in a bad environment. Go to the other town. There are righteous people. You will worship Allah with them, and you will find the way. So for you now, Akhi, you're complaining of continuously falling in sin. Whether the sin is pornography, and I'm not talking about, sorry. <laughs> Come on, Akhi. A figure of speech. Whether, whether the sin is pornography, a lot of the brothers send me questions, call me, complaining of the sin. Akhi, the first thing to do is to block the means. You still have a TV set with pornogra uh, uh, pornography on it. You still access the internet. You still 24-7 on your stupid phones or what they call smartphones. This is your mistake. You have to cross the extra mile. Prevent these things before they kill you. Now you are in the blessing of feeling the remorse and it's eating your heart. This is a, a blessing from Allah. Believe me, in a couple of weeks or more, this will die and fade away. If you don't make the extra mile of changing your environment, blocking the means, this will go. So. Seek Allah's help, 
Trust Allah, depend on Allah, and change your environment, and inshallah, you'll find the way.